So you would say that you aren't very close with Will? No, not at all. Okay. No. Interesting. What were you up to in the party at the time that uh, the lights went out? Oh, me and Hikesa were just hanging out over there by the bar, and you know, I we were just we were just talking and uh, just trying to vibe, just trying to hang, man. Like sure. I'm not trying to do anything too crazy here. I'm just I'm just vibing to the music. We're dancing a little bit, me and her. Uh, question for you. Was, was Tingle flying right before uh, he unfortunately passed? Man, Tingle was my best customer. I was trying to sell him some. You, you were trying to sell him some, and because of that, he was flying? Well, he might, he might have been flying if he bought some from me. Oh, I see. Okay. But, but he was like, nah. Was... Let's talk about, like, was he on physically the ground? Oh, oh, yeah. Well, you know, I know. That's a, that's a problem with him. I mean... <laughs> he's, he's always on the he ground. He is now. <laughs> yeah, well, he, he certainly is. Uh, all right. What, so you, were you trying to sell directly to Tingle right before the lights went out? Yeah, we were chatting it up, and I was trying to, trying to sell him some of the herb. And how was that going? It wasn't, it wasn't going very well, but... Does that make you mad? I mean, I'm a little miffed, but uh, dude, I'm just here to chill. Okay. Just want to see just how chill that was chilling. Well, I think that's uh, everything I need from you here, Finn. Um, feel free to hang out with Kessa, but just, you know, don't touch the body or anything. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll get this sorted out, all right? No problem there. And hey, as long as, uh, as, long as things fly clear here, you're okay. Hey, man, right? you know, I think a little bit of the good stuff will help you through this. Yeah, you want a little bit? Go yeah, for we'll it. Yeah, we'll just, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about we'll, it. We'll, we'll, talk about we'll, it. we'll talk about payment we'll talk, later, we'll man. Talk. All right. Uh, hey, uh, Kessa, was it? Hi. Yeah, do you mind, uh, coming over here real quick? Uh, Kessa, I can't help but notice that throughout all this, you have been staring in one particular place in this room more than anywhere else. And it doesn't seem like something I'd be very interested in, but... I can't help but notice every time I look back to you, you have been looking at that there eight ball on that there table this whole time. Is that interest you in some way? Do you like uh, learning about the world through water in a little ball? Well, of course, as a, a merchant of rare artifacts, uh, I can't help but notice all of the very rare artifacts that you have in your lovely home, and I have one just like that. It's a family heirloom, um, you know, and so of course I'm going to notice it. It seems like you're a little bit more interested than just noticing it. I mean, as you said, there are plenty of other fascinating artifacts in the room here, and yet, and yet that ball just really seems to get you, get you going there. It seems a little strange. I'm just saying because I have one just like it. I just wanted to get a closer look at it. Would you happen to know where that one that looks just like it is now? I actually don't. I, I lost it a little while ago. Hmm. Intriguing. So you, you said you were a uh, merchant of uh, artifacts, Rare right? Rare artifacts.
Who would you throw under the bus here if you could? I mean, the only one that I don't really know at this party, I don't know his name, but there is a guard that I saw when I was walking in. And, you know, he uh, he's the only one here that I don't know. And, you know, he was saying I, at the beginning of the party some things about Tingle and his character. And so I'm not saying that he did it, but it just did seem a little weird. He was I saying see. some very unusual things about him. Can you Can you identify any of those weird things that you might have been hearing? Well, he was calling him annoying and really just um, uh, extravagant and and uh, always bothering him. And I mean, none of those things would make him a suspect, but mm. it was just, you know, I think he dislikes him. I gotcha. Well, thank you. I can't help but uh, throughout this whole thing, you've been hanging out along with the guy in blue over there. Can you tell me a little oh, bit about him? Finnegan. That's my Finnegan. He's my boyfriend. Your boyfriend? Um, How long have you known him? We've known each other for months. We go way back. <laughs> way back months ago. Mm -hmm. Boy, times have changed. Uh... And uh, how, how did you meet this Finnegan? Well, I was traveling through Zora's domain, and that's when I met him, and we fell for each other, and so he's been traveling with me ever since. He's a trails uh, uh, merchant, too. Oh, okay. Uh, yes. Does his business match up with yours? Let's just say that we sell different things, but we both sell things, and so... That's why he came along with me. All right. Well, thank you for your time. Uh, avoid the body, if you could please. Um, I'm Will keeping do. my mind out of here from there, so you know, just leave things as they as they are. We'll we'll take care of things soon. I don't have any friends. Yeah, you seem like the type. <laughs> I don't have any friends. Yeah, you seem like the type. <laughs> I've been going through and reviewing all the facts. I have all the details of this case written down. We've talked to all the suspects. We've seen the evidence. And I have my assumptions on who may have done this, but I want to hear it from you. You need to help me out solve this because I don't think I can do it on my own. Do we have an idea of who may have done this?
I've been going through and reviewing all the facts. I have all the details of this case written down. Well, I should have guessed on this one, but I think you're right. Is that what? blood? What? 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 You know what? That's not nothing. cool, man. I have nothing to hide from any of you. Hey, 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 hey. You're right. You're some clever detective. Because I did it. <gasps> you? I did it. You know, detective, you're a man who knows his job very well. You know what needs to be done. I could say the same of myself, you know? And if there's one thing that's bothersome in any line of work, it's those who get in the way of doing what needs to be done. Tingle has distracted me from my guard duties outside the forest for far too long. Not to mention, he thought I was his best friend or something. I never even bought a single map from the guy, so how he got that in his head? No idea. The darkness was an opportunity to finally eliminate the one person that kept getting in my way. So I grabbed the sword. I stabbed him. 